Pamela Suzette Grier was born on May 26, 1949, is an American actress. Pam Grier came to Hollywood in 1970, as the film industry was straining to catch up with a counterculture fueled by sexual freedom, women's liberation, and black power. Grier was an army brat who had grown up in Denver, Colorado, and on Air Force bases across the world, though she felt most at home at her grandparents' farm, in Wyoming. After decades in which black women typically appeared in movies as maids, Grier broke the mold completely. In films such as Coffee and Foxy Brown, she played empowered heroines who fought back against drug dealers and pimps while often winding up in outrageous catfights. These are my top movies for Pam Grier. At number 10. Sheba, Baby, 1975. When the loan business of her father, Andy, Rudy Challenger, is trashed by thugs looking to force a sale, Chicago private investigator Sheba Shane, Pam Grier, travels back to her hometown of Louisville, Kentucky, to even the score. Together with old flame brick Williams, Austin Stoker, she attacks the henchman of a local loan shark pilot, Derville Martin, but a retaliation leaves Andy dead. Blind with rage, Sheba vows to take out pilot's boss, mob kingpin shark, Dick Merrifield. At number 9. Friday Foster, 1975. On assignment from her editor, photographer Friday Foster, Pam Grier, travels to an airport to capture a few shots of the richest black man in the United States, Thalmas Rasalala. But it turns out Foster isn't the only one taking shots as she witnesses and photographs an assassination attempt on her subject. With definitive evidence in her possession, she also becomes a target of the assassins. Joining a private eye, Yafit Kato, Foster sets out to discover the truth behind the attempt. At number 8. Black Mama White Mama, 1973. Lee Daniels, Pam Grier, is a black girl busted for prostitution. Karen Brent, Margaret Markov, is a white girl arrested for her involvement with a local revolutionary group. The two women meet in jail and, despite their mutual animosity, are chained together for transport to a maximum security prison. Their bus is ambushed en route, however, and the pair manages to escape together. Chazzed by bounty hunters, crooked police, and revolutionaries, they struggle to get along and get away. At number 7. Escape from L.A., 1996. In 2013, the United States president, Cliff Robertson, is exiling all citizens who don't conform to his hyper-conservative views to Los Angeles, which became an island after a huge earthquake. But, when the president's daughter nabs the detonator to her dad's apocalyptic weapon and sneaks into L.A. to be with the rebel leader she loves, the government taps commando-turned-crook Snake Plissken, Kurt Russell, to retrieve the young woman. And, if he doesn't succeed quickly, he'll be executed. At number 6. The Big Dollhouse, 1971. The Big Dollhouse is a 1971 American women in prison film starring Pam Grier, Judy Brown, Roberta Collins, Brooke Mills, and Pat Woodall. The film follows six female inmates throughout daily life in a gritty, unidentified super tropical prison. These beautiful women prisoners are abused until five of them plot an escape by taking the evil female warden hostage, with the reluctant help of two male fruit vendors. At number 5. The Big Bird Cage, 1972. The Big Bird Cage is a 1972 American exploitation film of the women in prison subgenre. It serves as a non-sequel follow-up to the 1971 film The Big Doll House. The film was written and directed by Jack Hill and stars Pam Grier, Sid Haight, Anitra Ford, and Carol Speed. A group of women stages a rebellion in a dangerous jungle prison, where they are tasked with feeding sugarcane to a mechanical maw. Every day they are risking their lives as the evil warden oversees their duties. At number 4. Above the Law, 1988. A martial arts expert and former CIA agent, Nico Toscani, Stephen Siegel, are working as a Chicago cop when a relatively routine drug trafficking investigation leads to an international conspiracy. Soon Nico and his partner, Dolores Jax Jackson, Pam Grier, are the targets of mysterious and powerful criminals, but he refuses to back down. As Nico gets deeper into the case, he must contend with an old adversary. Corrupt CIA operative Kurt Zagan, Henry Silva. At number 3. Coffee, 1973. As a nurse, Coffee, Pam Grier, has seen the ill effects of drugs up close, but it isn't until her little sister becomes addicted to heroin that she finally decides to wage a one-woman battle. 
Disguised as a prostitute, Coffee goes on a killing rampage, at first going after street dealers and pimps such as sleazy King George, Robert Dockwe, then gradually working her way up to bigger honchos. She's shocked, however, when she discovers that her politician boyfriend, Booker Bradshaw, is involved. At number 2. Jackie Brown, 1997. When flight attendant Jackie Brown, Pam Grier, is busted smuggling money for her arms dealer boss, Ordell Robbie, Samuel L. Jackson, Agent Trey Nicolette, Michael Keaton, and Detective Mark Dargas, Michael Bowen, want her help to bring down Robbie. Facing jail time for her silence or death for her cooperation, Brown decides instead to double-cross both parties and make off with the smuggled money. Meanwhile, she enlists the help of bondsman Max Cherry, Robert Forster, a man who loves her. At number 1. Foxy Brown, 1974. Unable to pay back the $20,000 he owes the mob, small-time hustler Link, Antonio Fargas, instead gives up the identity of an undercover cop, Terry Carter, who happens to be dating his sister, Foxy Brown, Pam Grier. When gangsters later kill the cop, Foxy is quick to make the connection and swears vengeance. Posing as a prostitute, and with the help of a group of neighborhood vigilantes, she gradually tracks down the hitmen, their mafia bosses, and her own brother. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and always stay tuned.